Hello everyone. We have been learning how to write publishers and subscribers of the default ROS topics or message types. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to write a custom message so that you can combine two or three different message types into one proper message according to your requirement. Starting with creating a new package over here inside my source folder, cat can create package my packages name custom message say python because i'm going to use python language in this tutorial and then the dependencies so first of all raspi then i have a dependency called message generation and the custom messages uh, messages basically the default messages for my custom messages standard messages and geometry messages so my message is gonna comprise of these two types my package is created going inside the package i am gonna create a message folder so if i go in here in here i have this message folder create a new file called custom Oh, I created the custom file outside my folder. I am just gonna paste it inside. So let's edit this custom file that we just created. Inside my folder, nano custom. Nano is just a text editor. This file is then gonna have my messages and uh, what basically what are messages that I have to include. So I am gonna include a um, variable called robot name which would be of standard messages string again a date time which would be standard messages string and my location which i am defining as geometry messages post 2d save exit my custom message file is created next i'm going to edit my cmakelist.txt so once i open this file over here i have this long document and it is pretty self-explanatory due to all of the syntax that the ROS people already give. So starting with my very first things, these are the four dependencies that I had created when I was writing catkin create package. So they are already here. If I scroll down a little bit, I have add message files over here. This is what I need to uncomment. So add message files, files, message one, and close bracket, and you got it right. This message one has to be replaced by custom. Perfect, message type is added. Next, I have to add generate messages, a uh, dependency, because this will also be needed for our custom message. Generate messages, dependencies, and uncomment all the messages. What else is there in this? I already have a catkin package, open close bracket, which would be needed. Apart from this, I will need to include a catkin depends on message generation specifically. So either I could just edit this or I could write a simple two liner over here as well. So let me just write it catkin package open close and then over here all i have to add is catkin depends on what message runtime scrolling down what else is there yes include directories so i need to include all my catkin include dirs so i will uncomment this as well I think that is all for catkin uh, packages cmakelist.txt. Save and exit. Next, I need to edit my package.xml as well. Opening my package.xml, I have these variables that are already defined and commented out. One of the variable or the parameter which is not commented out is message runtime. So I'm just gonna comment this out. Save. 
uh, I can go on to my source folder and do catkin make. I didn't get any errors. That's good. All my custom message files were um, generated and uh, populated inside this workspace perfectly fine. Next, I'm going to create my main file. I have a sample file over here, which I'm going to open and explain it to you. What do we have over here? Some basic import of RossPy and date time since I'll be publishing date time. This is one of the main important things. Custom message underscore Python is my package's name. If you see over here and inside the message folder, I have a file called custom, which came over here at the same time. In my publisher statement, I have to define custom over here as well. I can write Q size as 10 to next. I'm going to take that custom and give it to the parameter message. Now I can play around with the variable or the word message in this particular file. So message dot robot name dot data is equal to robot one. How did I know that I have to write data over here again? It's really simple. All I have to do over here is Rasmus uh, source it first. Ross message show custom message custom. If you see over here, my robot name will have data parameter date time will have a string data parameter and location has x y theta. So this is a quick and easy way to debug or basically get to know what should be present inside your message. So this this is my first part of my custom message. The second part is date time variable and the third part is the location. I have given dummy variables over here, but you can always edit and update as and when required. All that's left is to run my Python file now. Safe side, I'm going to cat can make, but one thing I'm forgetting is making the file executable. So I'm going to jump back to my source folder and then chmod plus X and my file. Perfect. If I do LS, my file is in green color or it's executable. I can go back to my workspace source and now all I need to do is ROS run package name and my file enter. So my data started publishing over here in this terminal as well because rospy.loginfo message was active. If I do ROS topic list, I get my custom message. If I do ROS topic echo, my messages message started coming over here. I'm going to stop and break down, break it down for you. Robot name is robot, which is of data parameter. Date time is this current date time and location X, Y and theta value. Perfect. Now. Randomly, you are like, let me open a new terminal and do ROS topic list. Oh, correct. My ROS topic list worked perfectly and my custom message is over here. But if I'm going to do ROS topic echo. Echo. Custom message. There was an error because this custom message is not present in your computers ROS workspace. So every time I need data from this custom message, I need to go inside my particular packages workspace, source it, and then you can access the data. So if I go on to this package source and run my data came. So this was all about how to write a custom message. You can include images inside this custom message. You can include any of the other um, default parameters of ROS, default messages of ROS and combine them as one. Keep watching RoboMetrics.